All right, guys, welcome to our tip number 45. We're going to be going over GG Alt, and this is for lollipop plots. So lollipop plots are great plots for visualizing how points of data that might be summarized uh, change from a baseline. So you want to compare how different uh, attributes of your data, like in here, what we have is the vehicle class, and we have the points on our data, and this is the average fuel economy for each of these types of classes of vehicles. So, and we're comparing them all to a baseline, which is zero MPG. And we can see that pickups tend to be lower. We can see that compact vehicles tend to be more. So we're gonna be learning how to do this in this lesson. To get started, what you need to do is you need to download the weekly R chips, and you do that by subscribing to our R tips newsletter. Uh, once you have subscribed, you will get access to our data sets and um, you'll get access to all 45 of these R tips and there's more coming each week so uh, what you'll do is you'll just do a git pull that'll pull it down and you'll have everything ready to go open up uh, in our 45 low pop plots folder we're opening up this R file right here just click that to open and uh, what we're going to be doing is producing this plot today to get started, we need to load in three different libraries, the Tidyverse, Tidyquant, and ggalt libraries. We're gonna be working with the MPG dataset. So this MPG dataset, it comes with a host of different automobiles. So each automobile has a highway and city fuel mileage, and it gives us different types of attributes about each of these vehicles, like the maker or the manufacturer, which is Audi for this first one, the model, which is an A4, and then different features about that vehicle, such as the displacement, which is the engine size, how much it displaces in terms of cubic liters, uh, the year it was manufactured, the number of cylinders that that vehicle has in its engine, which is also related to engine size, uh, the transmission type, and so on. So we'll be dealing with this data set today. So first, we're going to be doing some data wrangling. We're going to be using this package called dplyr, which comes when we load in Tidyverse, and we're going to be working with our data set. So what data, what dplyr does is it helps us wrangle data. And uh, if you want to learn more about wrangling, I have a ton of lessons in my R track. Uh, we'll talk more about that at the end. But uh, what we can do is we can start with your data set and we're going to use these different functions in order to be able to process our data. So we're going to take first our MPG data set. We're going to select down highway model and class columns. And then what we're going to do is group by class. Uh, so you can see that there's seven different groups now in our data set. We're going to summarize the highway column. So what this is going to do is give us the average fuel economy by class. And you can see now it's only seven by two. So we had 234. Now we have seven by two. Uh, we're going to ungroup our data and then we're going to make a mutation. So this mutation is very important. You won't see a whole lot change um, when we do this. Uh, whoops, uh, we just need to grab this piece here. You won't see a whole lot change when we do this, but under the hood, it's now a factor and it was a categorical feature. So uh, we're going to save this as MPG by class. And now this factor is ordered by the highway. So that's how we're going to get this effect here where we have the greater towards the top, like compact and subcompact, they have higher fuel economy, and then the lower towards the bottom, like SUV and pickup, they're going to be at the bottom of this. Okay, so next we're going to move into visualization. So there's a ton to know about visualization. If you want to learn everything there is to know, definitely take a look at my R track. Again, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, but for now, let's just get started by jumping into this plot. We're going to take our data set, which is this class and mean highway. It's only seven by two now, it's been summarized. And we're first gonna create the canvas with our ggplot. This maps the different columns, the mean highway and the class to the X and Y. And then we're gonna use this awesome function called geom lollipop, which comes from the ggalt package. And we're gonna provide a few features here. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us our base plot here. Now this base plot isn't done yet, but we'll save it. Um, so we'll save G1, and then we're gonna customize it now with uh, our, my tidyquant package. So we're gonna take our G1, we're gonna add some labels to it. We've got some labels now. Uh, we're gonna add the theme to it. And there, the theme starts to look a little bit better. We're gonna adjust that theme a little bit more. And uh, here we have our final plot G2. Okay, cool. 
So now we have our Lollipop plot. It looks great. Um, we've got the nice blue dots here highlighting the, the feature uh, in the fuel economy. And then it has the line that extends that's characteristic of these Lollipop plots. All right, so that was it for this training. And if you want to learn more, we have a whole five course R track. That's what takes my students from beginner to expert in under six months. Uh, it's an amazing program. You will learn so much. You'll learn things like shiny web apps. You'll learn machine learning and you'll do many, many projects. And this is what has helped my students get to the next level in their data science career, get jobs at Fortune 500 companies, uh, build amazing careers and get fast tracked offers from multiple competing companies. Uh, if you want to get these types of results, you're, it's definitely possible. All you got to do is check out the five course R track and it'll take you from beginner to expert in six months. All right. Until next time, make sure you subscribe and we'll keep, uh, we'll keep you in the loop on new art tips. See ya.